good morning students in this concept 3 we are saying about newton's second law of motion In this Newton's second law of motion, what is the statement of Newton's second law of motion is the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to net external force acting on the system. That means, let us consider a body of mass m having initial velocity u after some time the body velocity is v bar in a time t. Now, what if the let us assume p i is called the initial momentum of the body that is equal to m u bar. After t time the momentum of the body p f bar that is equal to m v bar. This occurred in a time duration t. Now, in this time duration t, how much change in the momentum of the body? That is change in momentum. is equal to we are delta p bar we are denoting and that is nothing but a p f bar minus p i bar. So, this is called change in momentum. This change in momentum in what time? In t time. So, in t in one second what is the change in the momentum of the body? That is in t time we got the change is delta p bar in one second how much change that is we can say that delta p bar by t this one only we are saying rate of change of momentum rate of change of momentum. Now, the in Newton's second law, what we are saying? The rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to net external force acting on the system. So, here that F external force is directly proportional to delta p bar by t. Now, f external is equal to k into delta p bar by t. Now, from this one k into we can write p f bar minus p i bar by t from this one we can write k m v bar minus m u bar by t. From this one next m into v bar minus u bar by t. Now, k into this is nothing but a change in velocity per unit time. This is only we call acceleration. Now, we got f bar is equal to f external bar is equal to k m a bar. Now, we got the relation the f external force acting on the body is equal to k m a bar. 
now definition of unit of force the definition of unit of force is if, if a body of mass 1 kg and acceleration of the body is 1 meter per second square then the force developed on the body is said to be 1 newton. So, from this definition if you are substituting the F is equal to 1 for mass 1 kg body and acceleration 1. From this one we got the constant value is k value is 1. So, now from this one we are getting F external bar is equal to M A bar. So, this is about the Newton's second law of motion for in this one for example, one problem. If a ball of mass 2 kg strikes the wall perpendicularly with a velocity 2 meter per second, the mass of the body is 2 kg. After striking, the body once again rebounds back. Then what is the force acting in the body? This striking time is 0 0.2 seconds. What is the force acting on the body? Now, what is the initial momentum? 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 meter per second. 4 kg meter per second. So, here momentum is a vector quantity we are assuming the initial direction I assume as positive direction that is why we can treat it as a plus 4 kg meter per second. Next after striking the body once again rebouncing with same speed that means final velocity is 2 meter per second that is p f bar is equal to 2 into 2, but that 4 value you have to take in negative direction that is why you have to keep minus why because of this direction is opposite to this one. Now, this happened in a time interval of 0 0.2 seconds. Now, how much force acting on the body? F bar is equal to P F bar minus P i bar by T. Now, P F bar is minus 4, P i bar is plus 4 that once again minus by 0 0.2 seconds minus 8 by 0 0.2 80 by 2 that is equal to 40 newtons that negative direction indicates the resultant force is along this direction. So, this is about this concept. Thank you.